Good afternoon, first mates. Has anyone seen any first mates? Oh yeah, I have. They're here, ready for the final day of TTG VV Fest 2024. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've made it. What a we journey. Have. We have what a week. <laughs> what a week. It's an understatement. I tell you what, I'm not even joking. After yesterday's pint of Negroni, I was feeling uh Little woozy. Had to, you know, I think everyone wants to know how you performed at Padel oh, after that pint of Negroni. I do. Best, best performance ever. <laughs> I did an absolute killer serve. I'm not even joking. There was one where it was just a slice. <laughs> it went, skidded off. Prime time Federer. That's what they called me yesterday. <laughs> Got to do that cocktail every time. Yeah, that's it. Well, welcome everyone. Welcome to Salty Trivia, the the finale. Well, almost mm -hmm. finale because we've got the closing remarks. Very official. But this is the final session where I am unhinged, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm joined today by Layla and Gemma. Hi guys. Hello. Oh. Happy Friday. How, How are you both? <laughs> Fabulous. Also, we've got a uniform today. Yeah, it was all in our same t-shirts. Too right. Got almost uniform. like it was planned. <laughs> like we it's almost like Luke went and changed his t-shirt so he could be the same as me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah too right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I didn't want to miss out. So I keep I rock up with you both. You both have your bouncy blows and things. And I'm like, <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to keep up with you. I've got to get the eye roller out. I've got to get the hair done. I've got <laughs> the You're just missing the lip gloss today, Luke, but we'll let you off. Oh, well, I mean, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> Because I'm already wearing some gem. Oh, it's not yeah. shiny enough. I'll send you, I'll recommend one to you. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. Now my lip gloss isn't good enough. <laughs> dear, oh dear. But anyway, ahoy, everybody. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Um, we've got some lots of lots of things. Ahoy from Sarah. Uh, ahoy, Iniki. Why are all these emojis? Oh, someone's getting very upset with the emojis. Tell you what, more emojis. Chuck them all in, get them all in. Yeah, so your last chance. So your last chance to spam us with emojis. Get them in. Uh, Jeannie, ahoy from Crete. Oh, Jeannie. I thought, yeah. I, I thought I was flexible and exotic from my little service station number on the way to Birmingham. You rock up in Crete. <laughs> Angela, ahoy from cloudy South End on Sea. Love that. Love that. Jenny, uh, ahoy from a very windy. Oh, I don't know why I said that. Good day. Hi. Jenny. Windy. I'm from Windy Polton, Liv Floyd. <laughs> Where's that? That sounds exotic. Sounds French. <laughs> Loads of emojis coming through. Get them all in. Get them all in. <laughs> Lindsay with her cloud emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, ahoy from cloudy and dull West Yorkshire. Well, tell oh. us, love a bit of West Yorkshire. We're bringing the sunshine this morning with salty trivia. Up to no, what's to weather up to north, West Yorkshire? It's <laughs> my good accent there. Thank you very much. Uh, Kieran, has any, has anyone else still got a blank logo? No, we're live. We're live, Kieran. Uh, Nikki, afternoon. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Oh, look, Jackie, ahoy from Eastbourne. Shout out to Eastbourne, all those Eastbourne nights. What is the term for someone that lives in Eastbourne? Is it an Eastbourne night? An Eastbourne onion? I've never been to Eastbourne. Have you not? You haven't lived. It's brilliant. It's always cloudy and oh. Uh Oh, look, Iniki, second worst place to live in the UK. Is that Eastbourne? That's a bit, that's a bit rude. Oh. No, I think she was on about West Yorkshire. Peterborough. Oh. Uh, Jacqueline Davis, we're going, uh, having a bit of, you know, Bit of competition, a bit of rivalry today, championing their towns. Uh, Jacqueline, ahoy from Lincolnshire. Sorry, I'm late. How are the sausages, Jacqueline? That's what we all want to know. Do they taste better in Lincolnshire? Maybe. Uh, it's a little bit of Lincoln, don't they? Yeah. Is Lincoln and Lincolnshire the same place? Is that a silly question? Don't know, but they do great sausages. Are you a... Uh, Gemma, are you a Lincolnshire or a Cumberland kind of gal? Veggie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Linda McCartney. Oh, she's a Linda McCartney. There we yeah. go. <laughs> I like question. <laughs> Layla, 
Are you a Lincolnshire or a, um, why is it doing that? I'm holding a coffee, you're not a fun. Big <laughs> <laughs> fun. You... I'm a Cumberland, I think. But I've really been liking um, these honey sausages from Tesco recently. Honey and pork sausages from Tesco. Oh, really nice. You've got a deal code. I don't, but it's two for five pounds. <laughs> Layla D, 10. Yeah, use Layla Davis 10 for um, 10% off your honey sausages. 10% off your, your honey sausages. Honey sauce. Do you know what I quite enjoyed this week? And we will get onto the quiz in a minute. You know, producers, I can see you getting very upset with me right now. Oh, yeah. But this is like, obviously, you know, for those of you who normally join us on the bridge, um, Facebook Live is normally on a Friday, but we thought today we'll move all of that fun engagement to here. So if you are new to this and you're wondering, okay, this is great. I've joined for the quiz. VV Fest has been incredible. And you like the vibes that you get around all of VV Fest. Well, guess what? We're live every Friday, usually on the bridge where we share lots of inside intel about Virgin Voyages, all the latest and greatest news, anything updated with our incentives uh, and in-market promotions. And we also just have a good old natter like Cumberland versus... Veggie. This is veggie, yeah. No, no. To be fair, I do like a veggie sausage. There we go. I'm going to put it out there. And there, there we go, Kirsten. Other supermarkets are available. Absolutely. Yes, are. And you've got to make sure you join their loyalty programs, otherwise you get scammed. It's mm. like, oh, here's a pint of milk with our loyalty program. It's 50p. Without it, £8.40. <laughs> yeah. where the, where's the value in that? Have you ever noticed that? They're all doing it these days maybe we should do that in the sailing club your voyage is a hundred pounds outside of the voyage seven thousand i'm not doing a thumbs up <laughs> it's, when you hold, it's when you hold your tea your tea <laughs> your, your thing is a tiny little thumb <laughs> excuse oh. me my thumbs are perfectly proportioned thank you <laughs> oh. i've been told that before thank you very much <laughs> Jacqueline says VV Fest has been brilliant. Yeah. We've had oh. such amazing feedback from all of these sessions. So thank you, first mates. Oh, we've had a, a Nikki there. Don't be slating. Te oh, a Nikki, are you a Tesco influencer? A Tesco influencer. Use a Nikki 10 for 10% off. Tesco. There we go. That's it. A Nikki 10, 10% off. Free <laughs> delivery if you book in 14 days. Mandy, ahoy. Ahoy. Well, welcome, Mandy. So I tell you what, let's crack on. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's go on to the good stuff. So we're going to do right a quiz. It's called Salty Trivia. We're testing you on some knowledge of things that we have uh, we have uh, covered over the week. And the winner, okay, is going to be selected at random, okay? But providing you meet the criteria, as in you answer all the questions and you get them right, the winner of this quiz is actually going to be winning a 2024 Mediterranean Virgin, well, European Departing Virgin Voyage. Wow. Woo! What a prize. What a prize. See, Terrace of Two, tax and fees all included. The only thing you've got to pay for is just getting yourself there and premium drinks. Know what you like. So, yeah, there we go. We've got that coming in. So, if you like that prize, give me an emoji or drop me a yeah in the chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all I get is I'm at the airport and can't see the chat on the screen. Well, Debbie's very happy about the prize. She's um, an iPad mobile device. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. There we go. We're getting lots of engagement there. Good whoop, stuff. Whoop. So we're gonna we're gonna also we're gonna take a round each, right? And there's three rounds. And the most fun round, you guys get to vote which round's the most fun. And the most fun round will win loot points for between Layla and Gemma. Oh no. <laughs> I might win. But anyway, so lots of things to vote for. Ah, oh, here we go. Finally, now, now you've realised there's all oh, this. Better pay attention here. There's something at stake. <laughs> I'll get all the woos. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go first. Uh, Actually, no. Do you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to say Gemma. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> oh, I can't be funny. That? It's what, really, what really awkward. <laughs> Oh, Gemma, what was that? Ah, ah. It's like, Gemma, it's your turn. Ah, me. <laughs> ah. Right then, let's go. Right. Round one with Gemma. Okay, and you can answer, don't, not on a pen and paper. All right, don't go writing on pen and paper. It's in the quiz, in the chat. Sorry, Debs, if you can't see the chat. But in the quiz tab, on the chat, it's going to come up. So, um, I'm, am I good to go, producer Gabs? Fabulous, excellent. Sorry. Producer Gabriella, I know, I know you get, I know you shout at me in the green room for that. So anyway, 
<laughs> round one, ship time. What? Over to you, Gemma. Round one, <laughs> ship time. <laughs> Let's see what question number one is. It's a multiple choice. How many ships does Virgin Voyage Voyagers have sailing the ocean blue. You should absolutely know this. A nice, easy one to start our quiz. I don't know. How long am I giving them? Am I then just going to the next question? We. It's your round. It's your round. Winging it. Yeah, it's your round. Obviously, you're well prepared, so you know exactly what's going on with this. So, oh, guys, not to be commented. You need no, to don't comment. You don't need to answer the answer. quiz questions in the section. Oh, God, this happened last year. There's <laughs> we like, can see all your answers. Really okay. appreciate you guys. Stop. Stop. <laughs> don't put it in the... Because you're going to help everyone else. Multiple Give choices. it away. Question <laughs> number two. What is the name of our latest lady ship to join the fleet? Is it A, Resilient Lady, B, Valiant Lady, C... Well, I've done it the wrong way round, haven't I? <laughs> A, Resilient Lady... <laughs> Be valiant lady, be <laughs> lady, D scarlet lady. Now, that's now take the points deducted for having me to help there. <laughs> Who let me do this? <laughs> so there you go. So yes, right. Come on, Gemma. I'm gonna get the. You're gonna have another chance. There's two more questions in this round. So right. Good. Time to redeem myself. Question number three. <laughs> don't, Jackie, don't put the name, the answers in the chat. <laughs> God, me and Jackie, we should do a quiz together. <laughs> oh, God. Um, producer, are we all good? Are the quizzes appearing for everybody? We're getting some feedback saying it's not on the screen. Uh, oh, Ollie says she's already answered them all. Yeah, Thank some people know. are answering them, guys. If you go to the quiz section where it's got the little uh, question mark, you'll see all of the, qu the questions in there and you answer multiple choice. There you go. We love question you. number three. <laughs> Try and redeem myself before I get my P45 at the end of today. <laughs> what is the name of the exclusive deck for Rockstar and Mega Rockstar guests? Is it A, Keith's Cave, B, Holly's Hideaway, C, Richard's Rooftop, or D, Sam's Kiosk? Tell you what, Keith's Cave sounds like a right old treat, doesn't it? Keith's Cave. I wanted to write Kiosk Keith, but you can't say him now because he's cancelled. Do you know what Do you know who Kiosk Keith is? No. No, come on. No, hang on. Hang on. Before, hang, hang on. Before we move on, Kiosk, do you not know who Keith's, Kiosk Keith is? Like? Oh, I'm a celeb. I'm a celeb guy. We can't, but we shouldn't. It's like, it's like Voldemort, he who shall not be named. We can't actually talk about him because he was cancelled for something. <coughs> something quite bad. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to have to Google this after. Anyway, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Moving Question on. Number four. How many sailor cabins are there in total on our lady ships? Ooh. A, 1,408. B, 1,330. C, 998. Or D, 790. Go first, mates. Which one do you think it is, Jen? I've um, no comment after the last after question. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got you there, didn't I? I nearly got you there. We did no, mention no. this in yesterday's session of uh, through the porthole. Oh yeah, we did. You, did, you did, yeah. So it should be fresh in your guys' mind. Alicia Fraser, best time of the year when that TV's on. You're wrong, Alicia. The best time of the year is when VV Fest is on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I hope I'm winning this round for being the funniest at being the worst at my job. So, <laughs> Jenny, you were not. No, that was a very good effort, Gemma. <laughs> Moving on to food and beverage round two. Who's it over to? Right, over to Layla. Right, to Layla. me. Woo! My favourites. Yummy, 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 subject. yummy, yummy. Food Foodies paradise on board. You should know this, guys, because our food and beverage is the most talked about. In the cruising world so you should know all of the answers to these questions jacqueline love your round Gemma. so you've got Yay! one i love one Gemma's round too <laughs> to be fair, I do like round. is right. everybody ready for round two let's do it let's go question one what is the name of virgin voyages alternative to a drinks package so is it a delish dollars b cookie jar c money in the bank or d bar <laughs> 
Do you like Delish? Again, we had this session yesterday, guys. So it should be fresh in your mind. Delish dollars. We did. And that's a tip. Did you create this, Luke? No. With your Delish dollars? I don't know what you're talking about. Luke loves the word Delish. 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 Right, should we go on to question two? Yeah, well, let's do it. Question six, actually. We're on question six of the whole thing. Um, how many eateries does Virgin Voyages have on board? So is it A, 20 plus, B, less than 10, C, four, and D, two large buffets? And a bag of chips. Like, remember that show? Was it two pints of lager and a packet of crisps? Yeah. Great show. Yeah, I love that it's one too. I love the theme tune. Oh, what was the theme tune? Oh, I don't, can't remember, but I loved it. Oh, <laughs> you're not going to see you know it. No, 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 no chance. I only know the Gavin and Stacey one. What, the theme tune to Gavin and Stacey? Early tomorrow, while I wait by the window for you. <laughs> right, on to the next question. <laughs> This is a true or false. So true or false, food is uh, food is available 24 hours a day. Is it A, false, or B, true? False. Mm, what could it be? Is it? Oh, is it false? Is it? I don't know. Is it, is it true? We can't give is anything it's... away. We can't give anything away. I don't know if it's true or false. I'm hoping, guys, that we should have A stars throughout the whole of this round. No incorrect it's, answers. It's now repeating on the BBC. What shows that, Debs? Which one? Two pints of lager or Gavin and Stacey? Stacey. Stacey. No, no. There's a real life Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> Stacey, are you are you Welsh? Oh, that would be so, but good if she is. <laughs> is is Gavin from Essex? Because <laughs> if you both are, we're getting you both on. Facebook Live, real life Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It'd be brilliant. Oh, <gasps> no. really? Are you Welsh? Let's get on next week's Facebook Live. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, no, no chance then. You're not coming on. <laughs> No. Guys, just for the quiz, you need to press the play button. So if you are struggling, it's it's in the quiz section. You need to press the little play button and then you'll be able to answer all the questions. So if you're not doing that, it won't work. On to the last question of the round, I think. Um, where can I find delicious steak and mouth-watering seafood on board? Is it A, extra virgin, B, the wake, T C, test kitchen, or D, Sun, Sun Club Cafe. Why can I not speak? <laughs> Sest kitchen and Sest dunk kitchen. Club. I'm just, you know what? My mouth is watering thinking about all of this food that I'm going to eat in the next week. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're lucky. You get off tomorrow. Oh, so exciting. I'm excited for you. Oh, I can't wait to welcome first mates with a sangria. Oh, stunning. I love the sangria at the dock. Oh, it's lush, isn't it? And it's made fresh to order every day. It's beautiful. Cool. But there's a limited amount, so you've got to get there quick and have it. And I think that's the end of my round. Oh, I hope I did well. You yeah, did. Well done. Well done. Good round. Well done. Thanks, guys. Right. Here we go. Right. Best. No, Luke. Now, first mates, if you haven't done so already, you're heading on over to the quiz tab, okay? And you need to hit play, producer Gabriella. Is that right? Excellent, good stuff. So make sure you press play. If you haven't pressed played on any of the others, sorry, really sorry about that. They're alive um, for an hour though. Is that right, Gabriella? So if they are just joining, I can see someone's just said, said sorry, I'm late. If they press play on all three, they can go back and answer those now, can't they? Yeah, fabulous. Julie, where are we meeting for Sangria? Well, well Julie, where where are you based? Where are you <laughs> <laughs> if it's Lincoln, I'm on the way. <laughs> Anywhere else. <laughs> not having it. Uh, round three, general knowledge, right? This is a great round. In this, we're going to cover some general knowledge about Virgin Voyages. But fear Ooh. not, it's not going to be as challenging as the other two rounds. So uh, it should be nice and easy for you to understand. Now, that was no reflection on how those two were delivered. Don't you worry. That was more about the, the you know, the difficulty of questions that were produced. Ooh person that created this quiz <laughs> so question nine 
What is the name of the epic night that takes place on the second to last night of the voyage? Noit. <laughs> Noit. <laughs> is it? A. Second to last night of the voyage. <laughs> <laughs> is it A. Scarlet Night? B. Curry on a Saturday night. C. Let's get ready. Or D. Splash of red. So yeah, I think Julie's on the ship next week. That's what she meant by where you're meeting. Oh, Julie. Oh, we'll be at the sail away. We'll be at the sail away. Yeah, we'll be at the sail away. I need to. I need to buy a sail away outfit, and then um, also it just so happens that the sail away coincides with a certain football team playing a certain game. So I will be present. Oh, Luke's going to be present, but also on his phone. <laughs> For a little bit. Uh, Iniki, curry on a Saturday night night sounds good. It was inspired by uh, one of my favorite TikToks. Um, is that how you say? Are they tic- are they TikTokers, TikTokies? T- well, the what, those that make TikToks. Yeah. TikTokers. Yeah, I'd say. Well, TikTokers. Are they talkers? No, just TikTokers. Like, I wouldn't class myself as a talker. Do you make TikToks? No. Do you make TikToks? Uh, yes, I have. I've got a um, TikTok which is actually open. It's got loads of TikToks of the voyage as well, so you can see some TikToks on there. Do you really? I do. Yeah. Right. What's your What's your handle? Um. Let me just grab it now. Let me just. Is it Is it Layla Davis? I think it's Layla Davis. One. No, it's not. It's Layla, Layla Jade. Layla J Davis. Yeah. And there's also one on, the, one on there of my dog. But I will make a TikTok this week, actually, so I'll update it. These are um, some TikToks. Look, Layla's on TikTok. <laughs> like my TikTok, guys. Let me go right a viral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make it my mission to do better than you at TikTok. Oh, of course you are. What a surprise. Nothing like a healthy competition. We have a TikTok up, but the thing is, you've got the whole week. I'm only on till Tuesday. You don't, yeah, but you don't have any, you don't make TikToks. I wouldn't worry, Layla. Luke said he'd post more on Instagram and he's probably yeah. done two posts since that. He said that. Oh, guys, nice. I'm sorry, but all of the fans are following me on TikTok, so. Oh, I'm going to have to give it a go. I don't doing... really go on it, but. <gasps> Layla, your follower count's just gone through the roof. Look at that, you got fu- you're welcome. 71. To so- be fair, all I did is type in lay and it you came up. <laughs> I have. So yeah. And there's also one of my dog there, so you can like that too. That will be the one that I probably watch on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your others, but the dog. <laughs> anyway, right. What's the name of that epic night voyage? We're back at the quiz. Back at the quiz. Right. <laughs> Hurry on a Saturday night. Um, that's not the answer. Uh, but anyway, uh, look at it. Um, Joe, can I just, before we move on with any more, look, before we move on with any more questions, this is much more engaging. Look, Joe says, are the Euros being shown on board? They absolutely are. Jacqueline, what a way to celebrate England going through to the next round. I am delirious today. No, you're not, because it's coming home. Either they are or it's coming home. Uh, Joe, are football kits acceptable to wear on board? Yeah, there's no dress codes. Go for it. Wear it. Stacy, party. It's, it's like <laughs> Michelle what? yesterday. I'm virtual. <laughs> I'm virtual. <laughs> Enicky, followed. I've made TikToks on VV. Oh, well, there you go. Enicky, we wanted to follow you. Uh, Charlotte, I need to follow you too, Layla. Love a VV TikTok. Oh, they are. Look, there's. Yeah, Gemma, are you on TikTok? Are you a talker? I'm more of an Instagrammer. I don't. I, I do have TikTok, but it's like one post every six months probably <laughs> we're a very social team aren't we we like to keep our first mates updated on socials yeah so if you want to if you want to follow Gemma on instagram we can plug your instagram Gemma. There, she's got a burner account and then she's also got her actual account so you can either follow her burner which is this travel gem That's or you can follow one. her is that the one you want them to follow not the burner yeah. one yeah okay. Follow follow this travel gem. That's that's the one. It's very, very good. Very engaging. Much better than anything I produce. So, yeah, go follow them. Um, good stuff. Back to the quiz. And don't forget, follow TTG Media because, you know, these guys yes. are absolutely incredible. Thank you. Yeah, boost their engagement. Not that they need it because it's a very engaging channel. 
So follow it. Anyway, here we go. True or false, there are no... Dr- oh, <laughs> whoops. True or false, there are no dress codes on board Virgin Voyages. Oh, we literally just spoke about this. I don't know what you're talking about, Gemma. <laughs> Maybe I did. But is there, is that true that there are no dress codes on board or is that false? There are dress codes on board. Oh. Very interesting. Next one. In Spain, which city does Virgin Voyages call its home port? Is it Parma? Is it Ibiza? Is it Barcelona? Or is it Madrid? Did you like how I said Madrid there? Love it. Madrid. Madrid. Is it Madrid or Madrid? Where is it? No, I just say Madrid. <laughs> Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> Proper slough. <laughs> they say, you know, slough is the Madrid. <laughs> yeah. In the they do. <laughs> uh, in the UK. Here's a good one. Which city does Virgin Voyages call its own port? And this is actually question 12, uh, not 11. Um, in the UK, which city does Virgin Voyages call its own port? Is it A, Costa del Portsmouth, B, Southampton on C, C, Liverpool, or D, Burnley? Burnley. Burnley. My you know, hometown, Burnley. Non, that non landlocked town of Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful coastal town of Burnley. Excellent. There you go. Uh, Jeannie, the dress code on VV looks fabulous. Yeah, because it's all your own clothes. <laughs> There's no dress code on board. Bosh. Or is there? I don't know. Hey, I'm forgiven for my round now. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. Thanks for playing. So we'll pop that up there and, um, well, we'll tell you up your answers there. And then uh, let's, uh, should we load up the answers? Gabs, can we, can we load up the answers, producer Gabby? Is that all right? That's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can, we can stall whilst that waits. So yeah, if it, well done for everybody you're participating in the quiz. You, I think you'll find it's very riveting. Um, and you guys, can you vote which round was the best? Was it Gemma's round? Was it Lady's round? Already coming in. I've got one vote. Yay. <laughs> one. One round, Gemma's <laughs> round was the best. Right. Go on, Jacqueline. <laughs> no sangria for you, Jacqueline. <laughs> or VV points. Jeez. Um, anyway, whilst we've got some time, um, interlude. The interlude. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a very vibrant cup as well. What's that? Oh, bless. Oh, my cup. Yeah. It's just a Starbucks cup. All the cups are available. There we go. Um, good stuff. So whilst that's going on, just a quick uh, bunch of headlines uh, for you guys to be aware of. Our, ni- our very exclusive limited offer where we are sailings from £199 per person, including flights in a sea terrace cabin on some selected dates for 2024. For those last minute bookers, it runs out this Sunday. Okay. Limited time offer is over. So please make sure that you go ahead and book as much as you possibly can. But remember, our 70% off the second sailor and uh, free upgrades on most 2024 bookings runs throughout July. So make sure you go and check that out. Also. Oh, you've gone. Oh, no. We can't hear you, Luke. Your sound has gone. <laughs> the worst part is I don't know what he was going to say next to you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> about those offers guys if you are wanting to post some offers about the um current campaign oh luke's gone he's gonna rejoin guys um we have some offers on the bridge our facebook group so make sure you're sharing those to win those last minute bookings before the end of this week once it's gone it's gone <laughs> and tracy asked can we do it all again next week you can join us on our facebook lives at 10 a.m every friday if you've enjoyed this week this is a snippet of what we get up to on our Facebook Lives on a Friday at 10 a.m. So you can always tune in there if you've enjoyed yourself. And Luke's, we're hoping Luke's Luke muted is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Here he is. Here he is. Luke's been silenced again. Jonathan, did the producers mute him? Yeah. <laughs> our rounds were much better, so they decided to put him in the, into the green room. <laughs> 
absolute nonsense um but yes right so what i was saying was first mate loot right 30 30 pounds per booking you can log that now up until the end of june 30 pounds per booking for certain selected scarlet lady and resilient lady bookings so make sure you log those sales uh for 2024 and 2025 by the way and in valiant and brilliant is 10 pounds so yeah make sure you log them um we're going to be announcing something with first mate loot on uh next week uh with first mate appreciation month which kicks off on monday exciting, exciting. tiktok in there layla because oh lovely is that the answer fabulous uh uh, is Voyage Store open on Sunday? Uh, not this Sunday, Nikki. Um, so if you have any leads, Saturday's your day. Let's go. Right. Julie, what, what is Layla? What is your TikTok name? TikTok Layla J Davis. Excellent. Good stuff. Um, fabulous. Right. Let's go through these. Let's go through these uh, things. Uh, Carly, so much uh, amazing information. Thank you all so much for taking the time to teach us so much. Oh, Carly, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to feel that we, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thanks. That's Thanks fine. for being here, <laughs> listening. Well, thank you. There we go. Let me start that again. Thank you, Carly, for taking the time out of your week to come and listen to us and learn more about Virgin Voyages. I hope it's been beneficial. So thank you. Smashed it. <laughs> Kieran. Thank you so much. It's been such a fun learning experience. Do you know what? For me, Kieran, serious note, a lot of people approach learning interventions, see what I did there, in a slightly different way. We can either approach it from a very formal aspect or we can showcase a bit of personality and understand that we know and love the product and we want you guys to know and love it too. So I'm all for learning being a conversation. And if you guys feel comfortable and you're willing to learn, then we're halfway there. Um, Cool. Have you guys made a note of that? Oh, did, I, did, did you see that note? Yeah, yeah, you might. Good stuff. Excellent. Fabulous. And look, we're getting a lot of laughs. A lot of, oh, look at this. Look, it's uh, Charlotte. It's the only training I ever enjoy. Oh, thanks. Uh, Samantha, it's been a blast. What a great week. Smiles and laughter every day. Julie, loved it so much. Chrissy, all very interesting. <laughs> Tell you what, if you've really loved Okay, VV Fest. And you want to give some great compliments to Gemma, to Layla, to Kerry. Drop an email to UK sales team at virginforges.com. <laughs> just be a brilliant support with loads of love for us. Yeah, guys, just send it all in to UK sales team at virginforges.com. It gets circulated amongst the team in there. And these guys may are made famous. So send your comments in. Thank you. Um, Isla. Isla Stenning, you guys are on fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hot. hot, someone might say. Oh, I like it. Uh, Hina, I've just been uh, looking at some of the eat and drink month menus. I'm drooling. You know oh. what, Hina? So am I. And I cannot wait for Monday because I'm going to tour the ship and just smash the lot. <laughs> uh caroline you get to learn so much this way so beneficial thank you yeah that, that, well, that, well there we go anyway should we go through the answers let's do it yeah let's do it anela vv is my favorite partner fab training thank you oh well guys this is a lot of love this is so good oh. uh tracy the enthusiasm is infectious such a unique product on, uh, on the global waters everyone needs to go on a virgin voyage oh tracy, tracy. love that thank you i'm getting a little bit emotional with all this love that we've got I'm feeling like a star. <laughs> right, let's run through these answers, okay? See if you, how many ships does Virgin Voyages have sailing the ocean blue? Of course, it's four. Yeah. Oh. If you put eight, you've, you might have seen, you know more than we do. If you put 10, you know even more than we do. And in two, no, come on, come on, where are you? This isn't 2022. This is 2024. There's four ships, right? Well, for 24. And the names are Resilient Lady, Valiant Lady, Scarlet Lady, and of course the new one, Brilliant, Brilliant. Lady. She's coming on the horizon, maybe. She is on the way. Uh, number three, what's the name of exclusive deck uh, for a Rockstar Mega Rockstar guest? Now, just to clarify, it's not a deck. It's more of a venue on a deck. But, you know, deck 16 forward, you'll have the wonderful exclusive space of... Which is 
Richard's rooftop, not Keith's cave, not Holly's hideaway, Sam's kiosk, Richard's rooftop. Layla. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you the same question in a minute, Jayla. Yeah, Jayla. 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 <laughs> I'm to call you Jayla, Gemma. Jayla, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to ash of this. Layla, if you had to rename Richard's rooftop after you, what would you call it? Oh, oh my God, that's a tough one, actually. Layla's Lounge, would you go something like that? I just feel like that sounds a bit weird. It sounds a bit weird. Layla's Lido. Layla's Lounge. Layla's Lounge. Layla's... Lido. What's a Lido? Oh, stop it. That's cool, isn't it? What do you... You two, what do you... What's a Lido? Is that a pole? A A pool. A pool. Like a swimming pool. Lido's a swimming pool, isn't it? Hang on, hang on. Did you just call a swimming pool a pole? A pool? <laughs> oh my God. No, a pool is like open air swimming pool or bathing pool. beach. Oh, we have that one in real. <laughs> he has one well. So, Layla's Lido? No. The open oh, air swimming pool. Layla's Lair. Nice. Layla's Lair. It's a bit weird. Layla's Lair, yeah. Gemma. Nothing goes your... with G. I've just been drawing a thing. I'm like. Gemma's. Grotto? Gemma's Grotto. I love Christmas, actually. That's a great one. Yes. <laughs> oh, Gemma's, Gemma's Grotto. I mean, it doesn't sound very nice, but. <laughs> Gemma's <laughs> Grotto. Christmassy theme. Oh, Gemma's Getaway, James I mean, says. I love that one, James. Uh, James, you obviously work in branding, like, or marketing. <laughs> Gemma's Getaway is much nicer than yeah. that. Gemma's Grotto. <laughs> Gemma's Gin Palace. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I'm liking that. What, that what would you Luke? Yeah. Our first mates are way more creative than me. <laughs> yeah, Luke, go. <laughs> Luke, I mean, yeah, Luke, I'd have Luke's Lido. I'd take that. <clears throat> Like, can we establish it? Do you mean Lido by the outside swimming pools they have? Yeah. Yeah. You, as opposed to what? What else is called? No. What, like Lidl. Luke's Lidl. Lidl. <laughs> Little Luke. Yeah, Little do you know what? That's it. I get rid of this you know, really nice private retreat and just put a pop-up Lidl up there. <laughs> they do have, have a Lidl. Lidl. To be fair, if you had the bakery in there, I would oh, visit. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I'll have Luke's middle of Lidl take over. <laughs> In the middle of this Richard's Rooftop space, Dan. Oh, Luke's dear. Lair. Car- Carolyn, Luke's Lair just sounds very threatening. You know, no one's going to go to Luke's Lair. <laughs> yeah, it does. Threatening. Go in bold and bold, I think. Yeah, you're not going there to relax. It's like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, oh, do you know what? I need to relax. I'm just going to hop on up to Luke's Lair. It's like, it's just like... <laughs> oh, Joe, Luke's Lager Top area. Classy. Hey, I like a Lager Top, thank you. <laughs> There we go. Or a Rattler, as we learned yesterday. Oh, we're running out of time. Next one. Right. How many sailor cabins are there in total on our lady ships? Um, Luke's layaway. What, Jacqueline, it just gets worse. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Luke's layaway. Luke's and... day beds. <laughs> <laughs> James, it's supposed to be like an exclusive space, not like a discounted DH- DFX. <laughs> <laughs> Alison, come on down come on down to luke's day beds where we've got some incredible deals 75 percent off all day beds grab it now <laughs> oh, dear. luke's love corner wow right i mean on to number to the first, i think yeah it's escalating luke's deep bath Oh, my yeah. goodness. That's an Alan Partridge reference for any Alan Partridge fans out there. Anyway, how many sailors are in their cabins total on the lady ships? 1,408. That's it. This was a tricky one. This this was a tricky one. There we go. 1,408 is total, right? So 1,330 is the amount of sea terraces, insiders, and sea views. 998 is made up. 790 is made up. So 1,330 cabins are inside of sea views and sea terraces. 1,408 is the total. Therefore, it means that 78 of our cabins are suites. So it really is an exclusive space, right? Because only 5% of the ship can go into Richard's rooftop. Yeah. 
Next one. Oh, we're going to jump. We're still on round one. Jeez. We're going to jump into food and beverage. Um, there's a lot here. Luke's Lays and Lunch. I quite like that. Uh, Luke's Lido's. James, I was going for the middle of little vibes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I shout out to other supermarkets. Uh, Luke's Little Secret. Tanya, that is... That is <laughs> I've got no hope with that one. Uh, oh, in Icky, Luke's Owl Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> oh god where's that from? where is that luke's owl sanctuary my gosh luke's meerkat orphanage <laughs> oh i'd go to that be fair i'd go to that as well yeah that. that sounds oh, lovely got all the meerkats <laughs> anyway round two God, this is. Have we lost any viewers, producer? Have we? Yeah. <laughs> we, we lost. We lost like, producer, to be fair. Like, you know, like if they, if I've won, I'll get an email. I don't. I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> Iniki, Alec, thank you, Iniki, thank you. Um, what is the name of Virgin Voyages alternative to a drinks package? Delish dollars, cookie jar, money in the bank. Of course, it's bar tab, right? Now, remember, the main perks of bar tab is that there's fair pricing throughout the ship. It means that your clients are able to go and spend their onboard dollars which, whichever bar they want. If they buy a bar tab, you guys get commission If and they also get bonus. They get bonus loot on top of that, right? If they don't buy a bar tab, it's okay. Fear not. It just means you guys don't get commission, but it just means they just purchase off the same price that the people with Bartab did. The reason why we ask people to do that and we recommend people to do that is because you get a bonus on us. It's better than a drink package because the quality of drinks we can maintain. We're not dealing with quantity. And also, it means that we can offer drinks per person. It means that if you're traveling in the same cabin together, it means that you don't have to upscale and match each other's drink packages. Also, it means that the quality of the drinks that we produce are always on point with every time you order. And it means also that it doesn't have to be um, a limited amount per day as well. That's another key thing is that you don't have to also have that awkward conversation when you go to the bar and you try and order your favorite spirit on the top level. But meanwhile, you've only bought the drinks package at the bottom level. So therefore, when you say, can I have, I don't know, a Hendrix and lemonade, if that's your thing, and they go to you, oh, here's your drink, but here's the bill because you don't qualify for Hendrix. We don't have any of that experience on board at all. It's just bar tab, super simple, super straightforward, works exactly like a bar tab on land. We brought it to sea. Bosh. Bosh. Super simple. Um, would a drink cost the same in every venue? That's right. Your beers start from six to eight dollars. From draft to exotic bottles. Wow. There you go. Uh, oh, look, Julia. Jim, we're still on the names, guys. So Julia, <laughs> Julia's still there. She's still there. Whether there's a delay or she's been still gone. brainstorming. Gemma's gone down. Gemma's gone down. Jackie, Duke of Luke. Quite like that. Could be quite a, the Duke, the, the Luke, the Duke Luke. The Duke Luke. That sounds like a cool pub. Sounds like a weather spoons. Um <laughs> all right. <laughs> Doesn't it? Well, that's, that's way to shoot a guy down. Okay. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with the spoons. Like spoons. I love the spoons. Yeah. Uh, Achna says, can someone buy with someone with a bar tab buy a drink for another sailor? Absolutely. Why do you why do you think I always sail with Layla? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, I don't always sail with Layla. Anyway, so yeah, that's how you, someone buys a bar tab. So someone's got a bar tab and I want to buy drinks for them. You can go around, scan it and buy it for whoever you want. Simple. Simple. How many eateries does Virgin Mortgages have on board? Of course, it's 20 plus. Uh, Gemma, first restaurant that comes to your mind? Extra Virgin. Layla? Razzle Dazzle. Test Kitchen. Layla? Yeah. Next one. Oh, sorry, the week. Gemma. Gumbe. Luke, pink agave. Layla. <laughs> Sun Club Cafe. Gemma. <laughs> Grounds Club. <laughs> Not sure I'm shouting it's, anything it's, it's, now. It's, it's, the dock. Layla. Hot off the press. <gasps> Gemma. Oh, no, I'm out. The galley. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. That's, that's like 15. <laughs> that's, like, that's like going, Scarlet Lady. <laughs> Deck 50. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of to choose from, right? And the good thing is it's available 24 hours a day. Yes. So, okay, we've got obviously um 24-hour uh, bar up in the galley that's available, but we also have ship eats. 
available throughout the ship all the time. So ship eats are take upon room service comes in. Jamie gave us a fun little, uh, a fun little, a very insightful presentation uh, yesterday about the uh, the thought process and the design aspects of ship eats, which was uh, amazing. Uh, Chrissy, if any money left on the tab, very unusual, I know, but what happens to it? So with bar tab, it is use it or lose it. Uh, so that they don't transfer over on one. Uh, and Kate has jumped in. Use it or lose it. Shake for champagne, baby. Which is why more recently we've introduced those lower limits as well. So $100 and $200 just to give clients a little bit more flexibility. So now rather than just having $300 and then they buy two or just buy one, they can mix and match all of those, which makes it a lot simpler and still getting bar tab bonus. True, exactly. And uh, where can I find delicious steak and mouth-watering seafood on board? Ooh. Well, Extra Virgin does have a really nice uh, sea bass. And it has a steak. And it's got a steak. Mm. Test Kitchen is delish. Sun Club Cafe is... There's a lot of love for Sun Club Cafe because... It it's is always awesome. one of my new favourites, actually. I'm going there on Sunday for lunch. Do you want to come? They do, yes, absolutely. They do the best like carrot puree dip. And oh, it's delish, guys. Top tip from Layla. Get on and try it. That's it. Carrot dip from Layla. Honestly, it's amazing. It will change your life once you have this carrot dip. I will put it on my TikTok for you all. Oh, yeah. Can we have an entire... Right, claim. Can we have an entire TikTok devoted to carrot dip? Maybe. And you know what you should do? You should do it as like, you know the, the song which is like... Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, let's do it. Just We're losing so them, guys. Easy. Fiona's gone. We're losing them. I'm really sorry, guys. Got to go. Well, I mean, that's a polite way of saying I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. You're a dip. The wake. Right. Round three, general knowledge, we'll steamroll through this. What's the name of the epic night? Of course, it's Scarlet Night, not Curry on a Saturday night. Uh, 14, true or false, there's no dress codes on board Virgin Voyages. That is true. There are no dress codes on board. There are no age restrictions as well. We always say just 18 plus. So there you go. 18 as you plus are. On board. Come as you are. Luxury super yacht inspired exterior with the interior matching that of a boutique designed hotel. Ooh. Combined with the luxury of multiple city baits sailing in and around the Met. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Fiona, Ooh. she's got a lunch date with her dad. Oh, enjoy, Ooh. Fiona. Thanks for joining us. Hope you get some carrot puree. At your that's, that's so wholesome. <laughs> Tell you what, wherever you go, Fiona, you've got to ask a carrot puree. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever restaurant in. You know, they bring you they bring you your meal in, you know, spoons. And you say, oh, excuse, excuse me, have you got any, um, got any carrot puree? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's an idea. Oh, my gosh, that's such a great idea for, like, in-game. You could film, like, yourself asking for people on the ship, like, oh, have you got this? Have you got this? Have you got this? And it delivers, and you're like, oh, my gosh. And you're like, when you don't want to let the cruise go, and you film yourself in a restaurant on land, say, oh, have you, have you, have you got the salt baked Durard? No, we don't do that here. Oh. Have you got the carrot puree? Oh, no, you don't do that here. Oh, I've got... That'd be great, wouldn't it? You're going to have to You should be an influenza, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, what also would be a really good... Now, this is like this is letting you all into a little secret. What would also be quite cool? You know the band? Yeah. Yeah. So imagine, right, You're in. You, it just shows you yeah. using it on board, and then it just cuts to you trying to use it on land, and people will look at you like, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, just trying to live my best life or something like that. And then Note it comes down to social team, making out of all Luke's ideas. That's a great idea. I think that would be really funny. Lindsay, right. I think Luke needs a TikTok with all these ideas. I think so. I think I do need a TikTok. I'm looking forward to seeing it all next week, Luke. Your TikToks. <laughs> right, Layla, we need a full production kit. I'll bring, I'll bring a... What's it called? One of those things. Or the stick thing. The stick, the stick thing. Selfie stick. Um, we'll get Jack to hold like some lighting rig. Well, I bought my new light off um online. TikTok it's like, shop a, it's like a floodlight, isn't it? It is. You can't really see it. But... Oh my gosh. Nice. I am an Layla, will you send me the link, please? I will. I will. <laughs> Michelle, I've logged in using a or oh, producer. You might need to answer some questions here. So I logged in today using a different email address. Will this affect my quiz scores? Can't see my name and the list of viewers. Thanks, Michelle. <sighs> Hon Kirk. Honenkirk, I think that's pronounced. Honenkirk. 
That's Apologies, a Michelle, if it's not correct. That's a great last name. Uh, Gimbal. Thank you, Kirsten. There we go. So in Spain, which city is Virgin Borges doing his home port? Barcelona. And then last Barcelona. Not, which city, of course, it is Portsmouth. And that is the end of the quiz. Incredible. That was fun. Great quiz. Great quiz. Fun. Great engagement. Um, so we're just going to tally up the scores in the background and figure out who is our grand winner. And we're, we're going to announce this on this this uh, this chat, right? Excellent. Yeah, we are. Um, so we're just uh, we're just doing some tallying the scores there. Um, Hina, will these sessions be available to replay after today? Absolutely, Hina. All week, the sessions from all week are going to be available on Catch Up right now, and uh, it's going to be available for probably like forever. So just jump in. You, you are witnessing history right now. I might look back on this in a year's time and think, I, why did I get a haircut halfway through? And then I look at it last year. I was like, oh, I got a haircut halfway <laughs> through. <laughs> um, right. Good luck, everyone. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, the fingers crossed. Uh, right. Have we got the got the winner there? Jabs. Do you want to? Do you mind just sending the notification again? Thanks. Do we all? We'll, we'll all get we this. We did. We've got it. It's in the chat at the top, Luke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in the little box. Oh, well, if you can see it, do you want to announce the winner? <laughs> yeah, are we ready to go? I'll right, yes. I'm ready to go. So, the, oh, should we put some music on for, like, the winner? Actually, go on. Be, I don't know what song would be appropriate. And then if we put music on, then we can't release this on YouTube because we don't own the rights. So I'm not putting music on. No. Not doing it. That's a so, winner. Should we do a drum roll? The winner of T twenty twenty four VV Fests Salty Trivia and the winner of a 2024 European Med well, European departing Virgin Voyage, uh, sailing in a sea camera for up to two people, taxes, fees and voyage fare included, uh, available for dates up until the 6th of October, including UK departures, subject to availability, of course, is... Sarah Hewitt from Millington Travel. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Come on, well done, up. Sarah. I mean, for goodness sake, you know, when I hold this up and it still doesn't look... Why you need to put your little thumb up, like, behind the coffee, behind the handle, and I think it'll pop off. I never, it never works. Everyone's clapping. Everyone's clapping. Woo. Hey, well yeah. done, Sarah. Good job, Sarah. Well done. You've worked very hard for that. But well done, yes. Excellent. Good stuff. Fabulous. Well, Sarah well knows her ship. Sarah, you know your ship, and you are going to be sailing the Ocean Blue on board a Virgin Voyager ship very, very soon. Excellent, good stuff. We'll get details of your prize out to you um, uh, quite soon, right? Right, producer? Yeah, we'll get them out soon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting some nods. Well, guys. What a week. Mm. It's been a session. Week. I know we're going to have the official closing remarks in just a minute, but let's have, like, the unofficial closing remarks. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know how when you have the King's speech on, there's always like the unofficial king speech. <laughs> so this is like the unofficial closing remarks. Luke so, the Duke is doing his closing remarks. <laughs> um, guys, do either of you have any messages for our first mates uh, as a result of all this week and any encouragement moving forward? Yeah. Well, well, firstly, a huge thank you for joining us this week and all of the gorgeous feedback to say how much fun you've had. We love hearing from you and thank you so much for your support. Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always, to have you guys on this fun educational journey as always with virgin voyages and utilize everything you've learned over the past few sessions you know put that into practice get it in with your marketing and promotion of virgin voyages and talk about all of the tips and tricks that we've gone through this week to really boost your sales excellent good over stuff. to luke well it's been emotional i was i knew i was if i could have a quid for you saying that i knew you're gonna say it, it's been emotional well, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, it's been, it's making me cry. 
it's it's i can't even get my words out no it's um thank you so much first mates for tuning in this week we appreciate that your time is hard earned um and we thank you that you've spent it with us um we put on these virtual festivals purely for you guys to make sure that you can learn and grow your knowledge of all things virgin voyages and we understand there are plenty of people out there shouting saying learn us learn us learn us so the fact that you've devoted your week to come and learn and experience more about Virgin Voyages uh, is amazing. And we can't thank you enough for that partnership. So thank you so much um, for your engagement as well, because these sessions, frankly, are pretty dull and boring, unless you guys are jumping in with the comments and questions. Um, that type of engagement we absolutely love. And no matter what type of engagement, what type of presentation you see, our team are built upon engagement. And all we want to do is make sure, one, people understand more about us, two, um, feel more confident to sell us, and three, they just have a good time. Do you know what? Have a good time both on board, but also have a good time when you're learning because it is dull and boring sometimes. But if it's not engaging, which you guys help provide, um, we can go halfway uh, to making it a really great session. So thank you so much for all for joining this week. Thoroughly appreciate everything there. Uh, Jeannie, back to the sunbed now. Thank you. Is that you or me? You saying I've got a fake bank? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, so thank you. It's been fabulous. Lindsay, thank you. You're all a credit to Vivi. Thank you so much. Julia, it's been amazing. Been away from travel for a while and this has got me buzzing again. I needed it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Julia. That's lovely. Uh, Tracy, thank you. It's been amazing. Chrissy, need to try the real thing. Thanks to all. Uh, Carolyn, loved every minute and thanks so much for your time thank you karen and then uh tracy thank you again uh, i need to get on board now absolutely well our good friends over at touchdown holidays they have some incredible deals feel free to jump on over and see some amazing agent rates that's no plug for them by the way it's just they they do have some really great rates um michelle it's been really great joe a great week of learning feel more confident sell vv now Oosh! Ooh, that's a good thing right and often the case is like when you're selling a product, you just need like those 30 second elevator pitches that you can confidently say, well, it's about this. This is what you can do. This is where you can go. This is what the vibe's like. And if you can confidently reel that all off, do you know what? Any conversation is easy to be uh, handled there. So thanks, guys. Thank you so much for all your comments as well. Um, but I think that draws us to a close. This is very sad. So I think... For the well, second time. Well, closing remarks. What, do you guys want to join? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Let's surprise Maddie and all three of us turn up. Let's do it. But <laughs> for the second to last time, <laughs> <laughs> that's it for today's VV Vest. Thank you all so much for joining. And uh, uh, if you if you do have five minutes, join us for closing remarks, um, where we'll do the official closing remarks. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you very much, everybody. See you all in the next room. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.